You know what blue dog Democrats are? Uh, they're this group of uh, conservative Democrats uh, who, <laughs> if you're a conservative Democrat, what does that mean, right? Well, what are you doing in the Democratic Party? Why don't you just go be a Republican? Uh, they think it's cute to be a Democrat and then support Republican ideals. Now, there used to be a lot of them. There aren't uh, that many of them anymore because they can't win elections. Uh, well, it was just trying to be like a Republican and then they voted for the Republican instead. <laughs> yeah, who would have figured? Uh, well, there are just. As little as they are in the House, they could be still pivotal in getting some swing votes. So they're up to no good right now. Let me tell you about that. Blue dog Democrats, according to The Hill, huddled with leading members of President Trump's economic team on Tuesday in the Capitol, where the lawmakers pressed the administration to seek bipartisan reforms to the nation's tax code. Let me decipher that for you. These are conservative Democrats who are going to try to help Trump make tax cuts. Uh, for the rich and for corporations and make them permanent. Thank you so much for being in the Democratic Party, it's really helpful. Uh, the Hill explains, just 18 members strong, the centrist blue dogs compose a tiny voice in the House. Hey, what happened? I thought Democratic Party has been telling me for the last two decades that if you're a centrist or a conservative Democrat, you have a better chance of winning. Do they look like they have a better chance of winning? They're almost extinct. Okay. But with GOP leaders struggling to rally their divided conference around big ticket legislation, the blue dogs see themselves potentially stepping into the mix to broker a bipartisan deal for the sake of getting tax reform to Trump's desk this year. Did you understand what that sentence just said? The Republicans might have trouble cutting taxes on the rich by themselves. So the blue dog Democrats are riding to the rescue to make sure that those tax cuts for the rich get to Trump's desk. Why, thank you so much, blue dog Democrats. And these are the ones you want to protect? No, thank you. They're actually worse than Republicans because they give the Republicans bipartisan cover. So, and as you see, there's an extra little gift for the Republicans at the end uh, that the blue dog Democrats brag to the lobbyists about. Let's quote one of them, Sanford Bishop from Georgia says, uh, you've got the far left, you've got the far right, and the blue dogs are in the center. And basically, we want a tax code that's efficient. That works for everybody. Efficient is code word for tax cuts for the rich and corporations. And they don't need code words, they say it. They say they want tax cuts, especially for corporate America, who are unsurprisingly their donors. Um, and look at their framing. They frame progressives as the far left, and then they talk about the far right, and they say, if you're in the center, you do exactly as corporations tell you. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, not interested, not interested in this brand of Democrats. They're interested in input, the, the blue dogs are, because they recognize that it needs to be a bipartisan effort if it's going to succeed and they want it to succeed. Why, so why do you want it to succeed? If you're a progressive, which I guess they proudly claim that they're not, uh, well, why would you want giant tax cuts for the rich to be enacted? I don't want you to have any input on that. I just want you to say no. Well, I mean, that's not very bipartisan of you. You're right, it's not bipartisan of me because I'm not interested in helping Trump. Cut taxes for his friends. So you want to say I'm not bipartisan? You're right, I'm not. I don't want more tax cuts for the rich or for corporations. I don't want them. I wouldn't work with them on a boat. I wouldn't work with them on a goat. The blue dogs, meanwhile, are vowing to press ahead. Of course they are. Last week, they wrote to tax reform stakeholders on K Street, urging the groups to oppose a strictly partisan approach to this year's debate. Do you know what tax reform stakeholders on K Street means? It means corporate lobbyists. They're like, oh, precious lobbyists, corporate lobbyists, give me money, I give you tax cuts. You give me 10,000 bucks, I give you 10 billion bucks. That's the swamp. So, but if you're a corporate lobbyist, what the hell you need the Democrats for, right? Um, you can just do it through the Republicans, but ah, if you just use Republican votes in the Senate, you have to use a, a particular a device called a reconciliation, which means that yes, you can get past the Democratic filibuster, but that means that it only lasts for 10 years. It's not a permanent uh, bill, it, it sunsets after 10 years. So hence, Representative Dan Lipinski, Democrat of Illinois, says this. Reforming, and this is plea to the lobbyists, reforming our tax system must be done in the most responsible and sustainable way, and that means it must be bipartisan. In other words, you can have your giant tax cuts, 
but just for 10 years if you work with Republicans. But if you also bribe us, legally of course, us Democrats, well then we'll help you make those giant tax cuts permanent. How do you like the blue dog Democrats now? No, they're not here to help you. They're not centrist, they're corporate. This is why we call them corporate Democrats. And they don't care at all about their voters. They care about their donors and they're almost bragging about it here. <laughs> we went to K Street, K Street is where all the lobbies are. K Street stakeholders and told them all the goodies that Democrats can deliver to the corporate lobbyists. That's what blue dog Democrats are about. And they hate it when we point that out because it's overwhelmingly true. What else are you doing? Why else are you helping Trump get more tax cuts for the rich and for corporations? Please, justicedemocrats.com. You want strong Democrats who actually believe in being progressive and strongly so and stating it and clearly fighting for it, you go to Justice Democrats. You want sellout Democrats who are gonna vote for Republicans and work for their donors instead, you go to blue dogs, you go to corporate Democrats, you go to establishment Democrats. Time for a revolution. It's not their party, it's our party. You, you board their ship, you take it over, and you set the Democratic Party in the right direction, in the direction of FDR and JFK, not in the direction of Hillary Clinton and all of her lobbyist friends. Let's go right now, let's take the party over, justicedemocrats.com. If you leave it up to them, they can't wait to work with Trump. What happened to the resistance? Young Turks now has over six billion lifetime views. You know who did that? You did that. We're now larger than CNN, ABC, you name a news network online, we're larger than them. And you built all that as everyone scoffed and didn't believe. And here we are guys, thanks to you. Build independent media together with us at tytnetwork.com slash join.